Hi, I would like to share with you the scriptures from the uh, book of James, um, <coughs> chapter 4, starting with um, verse 1. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come not, come they not hence, even of the of your lust that war within your members? You lust and you have not. You kill and desire to have and cannot con cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss, that you may consume it upon your lusts. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain that the spirit that dwells in us lusts to envy? But he gives us more grace. Wherefore he says, God resists the proud, but he gives grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw an eye to God, and he'll draw an eye to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double mind. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he, sh and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil of one of another, brethren. He that speaks evil of his brother, and judges his brother, speaks evil of the law, and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and, and to destroy. Who are you to judge another? Um, these verses I want to bring up um, basically saying that um, for, talking about friendship with the world is, um, is en enmity with God. Um, we, should be, we should be careful um, when, it, when it comes to um, having friendship with the world because um, I mean we're, I mean we're, we're to love the people in the world but we're not to love the world and and the things that are in it because um, as, uh, as it says in um, 1st John um, Chapter two um, basically says, "Love not the world, neither things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and, and lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever." I mean, I mean, the things that are things that are in the world are are things that are going to tempt tempt us into doing sin. I mean, the, the lust of the flesh, what, satis what satisfies um, our flesh. And um, Jesus was tempted in that area when he, he was, uh, when Satan told him, if you are the Son of God, then turn these, then tell these um, stones to be made, made into bread. And Jesus ends up saying, it is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And um, and we're tempted with the lust of the eyes, which is the um, th things that all our uh, eyes can behold. I mean, like like um, like riches and thing thing th things that. Thing, things that we want, and he's, um, the devil tempt, tempted um, Jesus with, with the lust of eyes by showing him all the kings of the world and say, saying, "All this I will give unto you if if you will fall down and worship me." And Jesus ends up saying, "Be gone with you, for it is written, you shall serve the Lord your God, and him only you shall worship.'" And it's, I'm sorry I didn't say that correctly, but. Uh, <laughs> You get the point, and um, and the pride of life, basically. Um, I mean, Jesus was tempted in that area when um, he's taken to the pinnacle of the temple, and he and he and um, the devil says, "If you're the son of God, throw yourself down, for it's written, um, he will give his angels." charge concerning you to keep you and in their hands they shall bear you up as you dash your foot against stone and Jesus says uh, to him it is written again uh, you shall not tempt the Lord your God I mean, 
I mean, all Jesus had to do is throw himself down and and basically have the angels um, come and bear him up and basically do that in front of people and you like, ooh, now he now this is the son of God and it's just like you know, he want he yeah. wants Jesus to boast in this both himself and his relationship with uh, with God that he that he is the um, son of God and um, and that and that's the th that's the thing we got to avoid and we got to avoid boasting about ourselves about about thing things we can uh, things we can do and just uh, I mean. I know, I know there's uh, a, lot, a lot of boastful Christians. I mean, they don't they don't like to say that they're boastful, but they are boastful, and it's, it's like they're all the things that that they can do. I mean, and they don't really point they don't really point to um, Jesus Christ. They point to themselves. And like, look at me, look at me, <laughs> and um, we gotta. We gotta avoid that. I mean, Jesus didn't do anything to draw atten attention to himself, other than, other than just, uh, other than do, just doing what the Father t tells him to do, you know, just, which is basically just to preach the word, and he also, also, um, <coughs> also did miracles among the people, and. Um, And and we got we got to be careful what, what we ask for when when it comes to when it comes to prayer. I mean, James says, "You have you have not because you ask not, and, and even when you do ask, you receive not because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures." I mean, God knows our hearts better than we do. I mean. We ask for certain things and we don't get them. Uh, it's it's basically because God knows we're not ready for them, or we're just uh, well, we're not ready for them yet, or we're just or or He knows that they, those things will draw draw us away from Him. Like you know, like people want want um like like a happy marriage or um or a successful job or uh well a well paying job I should I should say and and jo God is successful and we get promotions and uh and uh we got we gotta avoid avoid that stuff we we should only let the Lord do the promoting uh, in our lives, and the, that if we're ready for those things, the go Lord, Lord will um, give, give those things to us. And uh, and if, I mean, we constantly demand God to give, give us those things. Uh, we're I mean, we're um, we're not submitting ourselves to God. We're just, we're just on. Um, we're just allow, allowing the devil to have a foothold in our lives, and it's like, I want this now because I am a son of God. I mean, sound like a sound like a spoiled child, and, and we gotta avoid being like. I mean, we know we're the king's kids. We just gotta act, stop acting like we're spoiled children. <laughs> It's a, it's good advice. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you in this video. So, <laughs> have a good day, and God bless you.